This is how you use Coupon Mania. This program is designed to help you find sales for your weekly ads at the local stores. And so you can save some money by cross matching also at Walmart. You can slowly put your mouse over each store ad and right click it. I may a list that most of the grocery items that comes on sale in each of the stores. On store name Aldi, most things are bananas and apples and so on. Then you can click to go back. Then you can do this to other IGA. Right click IGA and I put the things that normally comes on sale at IGA such as soft drinks, bread, apples, so on. Click to go back. Right click it. Store name dollar store. Things that may be on sale when clicking here. Mostly it's soft drinks and chips. We're going to click to go back. On this first page of Coupon Mania program, I have listed all the local stores around my area. Aldi's. Kroger, Myers, and Dollar Store, and a lot of others. If I want to go and check the sales for Aldi's, see where my little mouse is with the scissors, left click it, a light blue dot will pop up on it to show I'm viewing this one. In order to find the local stores in your area, you will go to a store webpage such as Aldi's and you will go to, you will click on the space here, enter your zip code. I'm just going to enter this here. 42101. Press enter and it will search and automatically show you the stores nearest to you. Usually the one nearest to you is the first one on top here. I'm going to left click view eyes for this store. Now, it has brought me to this page where there are several different ads. Walmart will only honor this week ads. So I'm going over here and I'm going to click this week ads. Let that load up. Now, this is just like looking at a regular sales ad, except on the computer. Notice that oranges are $1.99 for four pounds. You can click Add to List. Put your mouse over it. And then go over the box. Click Add to List. You can go and look at each page, clicking the arrows from side to side, and viewing the sales. Until you reach the very, sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to load. And then the page will pop up, so just give it a little time. You notice this is the end of the page. And it will also tell you here at the bottom on Aldi's, and sometimes they tell you at the top. When the sale starts, December the 2nd, and it lasts through December the 9th. After you get done looking at the sales and clicking what you want to add to your shopping list, you go out the very top right hand corner and click shopping list. And then it will just show you what you added to your list. Then you can take a pen and paper and write it down. Or you could copy, press Central A for all and Central C for copy, and then paste that inside your notebook. And then write it down later. Sometimes they will let you email it, as you see up here at the top right hand corner. Sometimes they will also let you print it. I prefer just to do the copy and paste thing and then write down with a pen and paper. Now that I showed you how first page of Coupon Mania works, the blue dot show that I already been there. You can press one to save it, and I'll do that. 
And then if you exit this page and then you reopen it, because I press 1 to save, that blue dot will still be there to show I already look at outies. But if you want to erase it, all you got to do is right here, press R to clear all highlights. And that will be resetting it. It's that simple. Now that I've showed you all the eyes here on page 1, I'm going to go down here to the left right hand bottom where it says extras. I'm going to click it. Now I decide that I want it to have a program that show me all the good coupon websites. So I went and made a list of the coupon websites and the one who made this program put it on page 2 which is really good and it works just the same as page 1. I can click it. For instance, I will click Walmart Saving Catcher. This is exactly a coupon website, but I put it in there because it's something that saves you money. I think everyone needs to use this because you can make money off of it. After you get done purchasing something from Walmart, you log in. If you haven't already made your username, you need to do that. So click log in. Type in your email address. And if you're like me, you need to delete a couple of things. And your password. I've already made an account with Walmart online, so I enter my email and my password. And as you notice, it says I have four dollars and thirty-six cents. That's how much I made actually on the receipts that they use with their saving catcher program. And this is how you do it: you take your receipt after purchasing groceries or whatever you bought from Walmart. You type in this TC number which is located at the bottom of the receipt and then you type in the date of what day you went on the receipt that you purchased anything. Once you do that you click I receipts and then over here on the right hand side it will list like the last receipt I added was December the 3rd 2015 and I type in the TC number and it says now validate receipt which means that they are going to check my receipt to see if they themselves found anything that they can price match that I didn't price match and whatever they find I automatically get that money for free into an e-card I'm going to exit I'm going to go back here to my coupon money and it works the same way. Whatever you click, you press 1 to save. Um, you can exit, press 2 to load. I also wrote down, um, I'm loving it, McDonald's. So you can fill out their survey and buy one, get one free. Um, I also done that to KFC. Uh, now let me move on. into Best Buy and even the Target Cartwheel you can go directly to that website through here now let's click to the right hand bottom corner where it says back and that will take me right back to my sales stores let's click again where it says Esther um, also I included free stuff for birthdays you can click that and this will also show you what people can get for free on their birthday. You normally have to make an account to each website that they provide for breakfast, at the caribou, coffee, um, lunch, at Red Robins, a snack. You have to make a username and password for each of these places. 
and usually they will send you either something discounted or buy something get something free or sometimes even a free thing free meal or a snack so I thought that was really cool too and all you have to do is just print it after they send it to you in your email let's go back to coupon mania you can always press back to get it to the second page back to get to the first now that I showed you how coupon mania works I hope this will help you where you can save a lot of money like I did and have more to spend on your groceries or whatever you want hope you have fun